There's been one team that I've been eyeing this whole time, and I've talked about it, I've tweeted about it, I've podcast about it. All right, guys. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's been a hectic past few weeks. We've had teams calling. We've been talking back. There's been one team that I've been eyeing this whole time, and I've spoken into fruition. I've talked about it. I've tweeted about it. I've podcast about it, and that's my New York Giants. Last week, we worked out with them on Tuesday at Arizona State. They were in my backyard. It was almost serendipitous. I'm not the most religious guy, but my wife said to me, God is working in mysterious ways, and I believed her. The Giants came out, and they were playing the Cardinals. They won that game in the Pew Bowl the inaugural Pew Bowl. Um, They were staying at Arizona State because they were playing San Francisco on Thursday. Obviously, it didn't go the Giants' way. I think there were some real real good positives to take out of that game. San Francisco probably is the best team in the NFC, probably the NFL at this point. It's a great test early on in the season. There's still a long ways to go. But once they were out here, they said, hey, do you want to come work out for us on, on Tuesday? Drive 10 minutes down the road. I'll go work out for you. So I went and worked out. We did a physical. We did an MRI. They looked at everything. And the reason why I wanted to start this podcast was to show you guys the business of football. And what better way to show you the business of football than to talk about how we got to the deal that we're at. Now, I wanted to get a fully guaranteed deal. I wanted to have some incentives if I played. And quickly, I was humbled. Every team told me, hey, 33 years old, coming off an ACL, We don't trust your knee. You have to come prove it and go on our practice squad and show us that you can play. That's a tough pill to swallow. When I've played 120 games, 120 starts in the NFL, I've played at a very high level. Yes, I've had injuries, but when I'm on the field, I'm one of the better left guards in the league. Pass protection, I'm one of the best in the league. Um, So it's it's an ego check, and it definitely, definitely hurt for a few days. And my wife's like, hey. You are either got two choices, what I always say. You either get up and fight or you wallow in it. And I had to realize what the reality I was living in and come to terms with the fact that I'm probably going to have to go on a team's peace squad and prove myself. So with that being said, obviously, I want to go to the best situation for myself on and off the field. Going back to New York is a team that drafted me, that I started with. I love New York. I love the fans. I have a lot of a lot of friends in that area. It would be like riding a bike to go back to New York. And it's been a goal of mine to, to finish what I've started and to lay a foundation with the New York Giants. After I'm gone, I've said in previous episodes, once a giant, always a giant. I truly believe that. And I want to finish my career with New York. I've had teams that are, you know, have the ability to go on playoff run and, and, and have Super Bowl aspirations reach out to me. And I think the New York Giants still have all of those things in front of them. A long way to go. They have the quarterback. They have the defense. They have the offensive line. I'm not going to go and overnight make some crazy adjustment. All I'm going to do is come in and be myself. And and that's be the glue guy is what I was dubbed in Arizona with the Cardinals. Um, I like to bring guys together. We do O-line dinners at my house every Thursday or at a restaurant every Thursday. We get to know each other. If you know the guy next to you and know his story and know his why, it makes you play harder for that. You play harder for the guys that, that you love and you respect. And that's something that I want to bring to New York. I want to you know, help with the camaraderie. I want to help deal with the media. We know it's tough dealing with the media in New York City. Obviously, my, my, my game is going to speak for itself. If I'm going on practice squad, I'm not getting paid to play on Sundays. I'm getting paid to prove I still can play in practice. And all I ask for from the Giants in return is once I prove that I can play and I go out there and play on Sunday and prove that I'm still the guy that I think I am and I know I am, that we come back to the table and we have an, a, a talk about the contract for when I do get caught up to the active 53. I think that's a fair request once you prove you're healthy and you, and you prove you can still do what they don't think you, you know, it's not that they don't think I can. Obviously, they're bringing me in because they think I can play, but it's just nerve wracking to bring a guy that has injury history like myself. So. The Giants aren't guaranteeing me a thing. I'm going out there and I'm going to go prove it and bet on myself. And I feel like 10 times out of 10, that's going to work out for me. So that's where we sit. I'm headed to New York. I'm excited to get there. I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited to be in the group. I've missed the guys. I miss being around the game. I'm excited to get back and interact with you fans. 
the, the podcast and how that's going to work out, you know, bear with me on that. We might have to bring some stuff with us and, and go through it on that aspect. But we're back in the New York groove, baby. We're back in MetLife. You get goosebumps thinking about it. That's something that's really special to me. And I'm a loyal guy. New York. I'm coming home, baby. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes are longing to stray. Oh.